and welcome back. So today is my birthday. I just woke up, I brushed my teeth and I washed my face. I do have extra time because I was supposed to go to work today, but last night I got my period really late and I think that's why I got it worse. I took medication and I thought I was gonna be able to go to work today, but I was in so much pain and from the pain during the night, I didn't get enough rest. So now I have extra time. The original plan was supposed to be me going to work. Zach's at work right now. Then he was supposed to pick me up and we're supposed to go do a couple things. And then we do have dinner reservations. But now I think I'm going to try and take it a little bit slow because I do want to feel better fast and I don't want to be doing a bunch of things. So sorry my setup got all messed up so i'm using my tablet right now so the quality might be a little bit different i was telling you guys before that i do feel by the way i am having an earl gray tea in my tweety mug so cute i was telling you guys a story about last night how i was sitting in the couch and I ha started having a mental breakdown and i told Zach that leading up to my birthday, I've never felt more like a woman mentally and physically. I just had like this change. I think I started around November time frame where I would look in the mirror and I felt and I saw myself getting older. And I think it's little features around me that I'm starting to look older and i know i'm still pretty young you know 25 isn't old at all but it's little features that i start to notice and i can see my family members you know it's not a birthday vlog without me crying in it but um i don't know if that makes sense i just feel older and i see little things in my face and my body that i I don't know, I think about my family members, I think some things are about me, like my mom, like my grandmother, and I am so emotional in a happy way because I love watching myself get older every year and learning more about myself and things that I like, and now that I'm 25, I feel like growing up 25 was always such a special age for me for some reason, and 25 always came to my mind when I thought about getting older. And I think because someone who has had a lot of childhood trauma, growing up, 25 is an age where, at least for myself, I'm so thankful to be. And 25 just makes me... I feel like 24 for me was an awkward spot where I felt so young and 25 was i don't know how to explain it but i feel more womanly now that i am 25 my pixie had been really sick she had the flu this week finally thankfully she is recovered so it's been a hard week yesterday was her full first day recovered and then i got my period so i've been so emotional and it's funny too because last night i was having a mental breakdown on the couch and not in a bad way just you know i'm so grateful and sometimes i cry from being grateful i was telling him that i've never felt more like a woman in that moment and we started laughing because i kid you not i got up and i used the restroom I had started my period in that moment. It was like late at night and I started laughing with him because we were like the, <laughs> how ironic is it that that happened, you know? Because I wasn't supposed to get my period. I don't know if I mentioned that already in the video, but I was supposed to get it last week, but I am a regular, so it's not uncommon for it to be really late. And I got it, of course, that moment that I was feeling that without knowing and on my birthday so cheers to that um so yeah you guys i'm gonna record my day for you guys i am going to get ready after this i showered last night so my hair could be a little dry 
in the morning i don't know if i'm gonna keep it natural by the way after i did my hair it really messed up my wavy hair a little looser and really dry so i've been trying to really take care of it i don't know if i'm gonna do just for today a normal um natural hairstyle maybe put mousse or blow dry it with the brush which probably isn't the best but it is my birthday i do want to take cute pictures i said i'm having some earl gray tea in my tweety cup and i don't know if i already showed you my toast but here it is i put raspberry i love raspberry jelly by the way and crunchy peanut butter so i'm going to enjoy my breakfast right now and message back a couple friends who have already sent me sweet messages but i will keep you guys updated on our favorite downtown spot which i have mentioned before but i had the american cheesecake with a bit of tiramisu to drink i had a cinnamon latte after we got back we took pixie on her walk which is her favorite time of the day finally it wasn't too cold for her so she was having a great time we are going to get her a sandbox soon because she loves to dig thankfully she doesn't mess with everything else just this little area but i think it's because it has her scent all over it later that day i was surprised by these beautiful flowers from my friends back home. These were from my mom right here. They mean so much to me. It was totally unexpected for them to be so far and still thinking about me. I also got these balloons from Nayeli and Yureli, shout out. <laughs> and this card, <laughs> ignore what it says. And also this perfume that I have been wanting for a while, thanks to Zach. I put the flowers here in the entrance. Still wasn't feeling the greatest so we waited till the next day to go to the village I wanted to go to. Sadly the museum was closed. It's a crystal village and they had beautiful jewelry pieces just like these right here. Um, they had crystals everywhere. The handles, the side streets, the roundabouts had crystals. But it was beautiful. We're definitely going to go check it out when they open again after their winter break. Before I ended the video, I wanted to show you the rings that I got. These are two of the rings that I got. They are sterling silver and I don't know what stone they are, but I went to this, I don't, I want to say maybe antique store they had there. A lot of the stuff was closed, but I got this really nice ring from the 60s. My fingers are super cracked and nasty because I just got off from work and my nails get so nasty but i wanted to show you really quick this beautiful ring from the 60s it reminds me of the little tvs they used to have back in the day when my nails are done if you can see it and then i got this one's also sterling silver and i also don't remember the stone i think it's stone or glass i'm not sure this ring is art deco let me zoom in so you guys can get a better look i also got this for my jewelry so i can put stuff on it it is shedding a little bit but i thought this was so cute to put my jewelry um, I don't, it's really reflective. I'm not sure why it's not catching it on the camera, but I put another video with flash. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Say bye, Pixie.